Good evening. Welcome to the Buck Stops here. I'm Vishnu Shom. On the program this evening, the BJP kicks off its election campaign in Delhi with the Prime Minister addressing a huge gathering at the Ramlila grounds. He accuses the Aam Aadmi Party of anarchy. But the Aam Aadmi Party hits back and says, Modi is actually scared of them. Now, we've heard all of this rhetoric before. This evening, we ask, anarchy or development? Will Delhi finally get a stable government? That's what everybody wants. आपने कभी ऐसे राजनेता देखे हैं जो खुद कहे कि हां मैं एनार्किस्ट हूं अगर आपको एनार्की करनी है एनार्किस्ट हो तो जाकर के जंगलों में नक्सलवाद वालों के साथ जुड़ जाओ जिनको फुटपाथ पर बैठ करके रास्ते रोकने में अच्छा ही मास्टरी है धरने करने की मास्टरी है आए दिन आंदोलन करने की मास्टरी है उनको वो काम दीजिए हमारी मास्टरी अच्छी सरकार चलाने में है हमें वो काम दीजिए With a scathing attack on the Aam Aadmi Party and its chief Arvind Kejriwal the prime minister kick started the BJP's campaign for the Delhi election Aisa mujhe vishwas hai The date has not been announced yet but the battle for Delhi is expected to be an intense contest between the BJP that emerged as the single largest party in 2013 and the Aam Aadmi Party that came a close second Modi shifted campaigning into top gear reminding Delhi's voters that Kejriwal resigned as chief minister in just 49 days Delhi ko bachana bhi hai Delhi ko badhana bhi hai The fight for Delhi has got intense with a bitter war of words between the BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party. BJP accused Arvind Kejriwal's party of being a party who only knows how to do dharnas and not govern. In turn, Arvind Kejriwal hit back calling BJP a U-turn sarkar, a sinking ship without a captain. He also questioned the Delhi voters, are achhe din really here? Unhone mujhe jhootha bola. Unhone mujhe anarchist bola. उन्होंने मुझे भगौड़ा बोला उन्होंने मुझे धरना करने वाला बोला नेम कॉलिंग भला बुरा बोल के नेगेटिव पूरा चुनाव लड़ने वाले हैं हमने उनचास दिन में दिल्ली से रिश्वत खोरी खत्म कर दी थी उनचास दिन में सात महीने में ये लोग नहीं कर पाए नरेंद्र मोदी जी द बीजेपी शो ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ वॉज डब्ड एज दी अभिनंदन रैली with the party lining up its three newly elected chief ministers the bjp knows that delhi's large migrant community especially from haryana and jharkhand can play a significant part in its political fortunes as the bjp now raises its campaign pitch the aam aadmi party is hoping to gain an advantage having already named its candidates for delhi's 70 seats with the prime minister focusing the bulk of his attack on the aam aadmi party it seems that for the bjp arvind kejriwal and his party will be the main competitors as far as the delhi polls are concerned in fact the dates of which i expected to be announced in the next couple of days but it seems that the battle lines are firmly drawn in new delhi with ashok mahale siddharth pande for ndi tv well more than anything else people in the national capital want a stable government we've seen a government come into power for just 49 days controversially the aam aadmi party at that stage said that they did not want to continue in government we've had a lieutenant governor looking after affairs in delhi now for several months people here want a government they feel that a government is necessary lots of political rhetoric today is a real stable government on its way joining us now to debate this yogendra yadav chief spokesperson of the aam aadmi party sambit patra of the bjp and ragini naik the spokesperson of the delhi congress party thank you all very much for joining us yogendra yadav to you first the prime minister today in his massive rally at the ramlila grounds accused your party of being anarchist and thereby in a sense being almost naxal in the way that you operate how do you respond to that uh, i was actually quite startled to hear the prime minister say things which are not quite becoming of the prime minister uh, i must confess i was pleased with the attention that he devoted to the aam aadmi party clearly in an acknowledgement of the difficulty uh, i thought the prime minister looked a little off color was it because he was unhappy with those who were sitting with him at the stage because he couldn't even think of a face there 
was it because the crowd wasn't of the kind that he had expected you are calling it huge but remember Vishnu the kind of resources that have gone into the claims of one lakh and more and I have not heard any correspondent say any figure more than 30,000 so was it that or was it that because the Prime Minister felt that finally after a somewhat easy run in Maharashtra uh, Haryana Jammu and Jharkhand he has finally met his match so he was unnerved and rattled um, and uh, I personally think that this rally which was meant to be a turning point which was meant to be a big lifting point for the BJP could well become a turning point against the BJP in this election uh, this is clearly not the kind of opening BJP had looked forward to okay Sambit Patra is were, were you disappointed by the reception that you that, that the Prime Minister had at the Ramlila grounds the same grounds where as a fact We've had Arvind Kejriwal attracting more than 70, 80,000 people in the past. No, it was not Mr. Arvind Kejriwal who was attending to 70, 80,000 people in the past. It was Anna Hazare who has been sidelined now. It was Anna Hazare's rallies which had seen a turn of events then and the Aam Aadmi was created even without taking the consent of Anna Hazare ji. Anyhow, that is a different issue. The lot of water has in fact flowed under the bridge thereafter. So let's not concentrate on the issue presently. Mr. Yogendra Yadav ji is saying that the Prime Minister looked off colour today. Mr. Yogendra Yadav and the Aam Aadmi Party are saying that the Prime Minister and the Bharti Janata Party were nervous. I'm having a feeling of deja vu. Vishnu, do you remember when after leaving the Chief Minister's post in Delhi, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal had immediately caught up with a train to go to Varanasi to become the Prime Minister? He was giving the same bite that Mr. Modi is quite nervous to contest against me in Varanasi and that he is manufacturing a crowd there. People are being borrowed from Delhi and from other places and country and they are being brought to Varanasi to contest against me that Mr. Modi would lose and I would be the winner. What happened to all that? What happened? Who was nervous then? We all saw what the result was. 400 plus seats. Jamanat Jab. Jamanat Jab party they became. Who was nervous then? It was all kind of lies that was peddled then that the Bharti Janta Party is nervous and the Modi rut would be stopped by the Arvind Kejriwal No, but Samit, that being said, do you consider uh, the Aam Aadmi Party your only realistic opponent in Delhi? Is that why the Prime Minister, though he didn't name the Aam Aadmi Party directly, but he was focusing on them more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Do you see Kejriwal as your only threat? Two lines and they are very essential. I would say the first sentence is, we are not arrogant, we are not overconfident, we are confident. We are confident that we will form a government in Delhi on our own. And secondly, it is always better to be prepared than to be overconfident. So definitely we are prepared. We want to be prepared in this election. Preparedness should never be learned as nervousness. You it's say you are prepared, Sambit, but Arvind Kejriwal today said, that the BJP is a sinking ship without a captain. I don't think he was speaking about Narendra Modi. He was speaking about the lack of a face for the BJP in Delhi. Isn't that a really, really big problem for you? No, it's not a big problem for me. I believe it's a big problem for the Aam Aadmi Party that their chief, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, now this is unable to comprehend the truth. A party which has won in a way which is historical in the 2014 no, but who's your face election. in Delhi? And there it's are a valid I'm question, Sambit. People uh, want to know. I'm coming to that point. I'm coming to the point that you have asked Vishnu. Have some patience. I mean, the kind of victory march that Don't is there for Bharti Janata Party and in Delhi, we were the single largest party last time. We have won all the seven Lok Sabha election seats only recently. To call it a sinking ship, I believe, is a person who is unable to comprehend and join the strings together. So I believe it is the Aam Aadmi Party Who's that leader, they are Sambit, riding. Piggy in Delhi. is a leader who does not have the ability to comprehend. Sambit, that's a personal pot shot. Simple question, who is your Delhi face? No, this question was asked umpteen number of times by many anchors and by you also, Vishnu, during the elections of Maharashtra, during the election of Haryana, when we contested uh, Jharkhand, when we were fighting elections in Jammu and Kashmir. But today we, we had Dr. Harshwardhan last time, very credible face, very senior Delhi politician. Who is your face this time? <clears throat> No, there, there, there's no face this time. We need not have a face this time. Let the elections be declared and thereafter let the parliamentary vote decide. So Even would it be fair, have a face, That's not a problem. Give me half a second, we, Dr. Yadav. Would it be fair, therefore, Sambit, to say that once again, your face for these elections is the Prime Minister, as yeah. has been the case in Maharashtra? No, you have to realize one thing, Vishnu, that face is always guided by your brain. 
face is always guided by your ideology or thought process. So who are the other the brains in the BJP Narendra in Delhi? Modi. We have we have a vision with Narendra Modi. We have a whole body in the organization. Ironically, in the Aam Aadmi Party, they have a so-called face, no body and no brains. So what do the people of Delhi do with only a face, which has only an ambition of becoming a CM today and a PM tomorrow? We are without any ambitions. We want to meet the aspirations of people of Delhi. Yeah, Ragini Naik, uh, why don't you come in? Uh, Dr. Yadav, I'll come to you after that. I haven't gone across to Ragini. Ragini, the Congress and all of this is, is strangely silent. Uh, is that because you have realized where you are going to come in these elections and therefore willy-nilly you are, you are endorsing the Ahmadmi party? At least some reports suggest that Sheila Dixit is. Not at all. The Congress, the Congress isn't silent. We have been very vocal, very loud and clear on important issues in Delhi. When Delhi was facing acute power and water crisis under the rule of Aam Aadmi Party and also under the rule of the Bharatiya Janata Party, we were the ones who were there out on, uh, in all the 70 Vidhan Sabhas and uh, protesting against these two uh, uh, parties and also uh, in favor of the people. But the larger question today is that speech, rhetoric, reparty and no answers from the BJP. If we analyze the speech of Mr. Narendra Modi in the first election rally of Delhi today, we will find that it is disappointing and hollow. No, but we Ragini, were there answers to your questions from Arvind Kejriwal? Chest thumping on the one Were there answers to your questions from Arvind Kejriwal? accusations on the other. The Congress will always attack the BJP. That's par for cause, Ragini. Are you going to also attack I, the Amadmi Party? We have, what are you saying? Most of the times, whenever they have faulted, we, 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 we put forth our point of view. And I would also like to say that at this point in time, I strongly object to the way the Aam Aadmi Party wants to float the idea that anarchy is a political value. I am really surprised that both Aam Aadmi Party and the BJP talk about Mahatma Gandhi, but do not realize that he emphasized means are more important than the end. Means justify the end. Both these parties were seen Anarchy at loggerheads and, 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 and development. Days back. These are all rhetorical and today terms we keep hearing Mahatma before Gandhi elections. At the end of the day, in favor of, of both Anarchy. the Aam Aadmi Party also say and the BJP Mahatma know Gandhi, and, and the Mahatma Congress Gandhi know that there is only one thing that people in this, in this city want. And that is development. Can I, can I just complete? Unlike, and, and, and Yogendra Yadav, correct me if I am wrong, unlike most other states in Delhi, it is the development agenda it's it's and you may not like this phrase, Vishnu. but Bijli Sadak Pani, it was not the Ahmadmi Party's coinage. But these are the issues which appeal to people in the national capital. That being the case, is it realistic for the Ahmadmi Party to say that you will cut down on electricity rates when in fact there is a shortage of electricity and people want services? A large segment of Delhi would actually want to pay more to ensure that electricity is there. There is a sense that if you cut down then everybody will suffer. Electricity won't be there. Uh, Vishnu, you are absolutely right. Development is the question. And unfortunately, we didn't hear very much from the Prime Minister, anything concrete. You and this has been the death motive of this entire election. We are positive. BJP is negative. We have substantive things to say. BJP has very vague and generalized things to say. We have a face that would deliver what we promised. BJP has none. On the question that you asked, uh, our, the point that I've been making since last year, unfortunately the point hasn't been understood. We are not saying that we would make electricity cheap simply because we like to get everything cheap. We have repeatedly said that there is a fraudulence in the manner in which electricity rates are computed in Delhi we would get it audited. We have no uh, loss of confidence. We, we are absolutely certain that when that audit comes about, then the rates will naturally come down. This is what we've said earlier. This is what we are saying now. We are very conscious. And if you would notice, Vishnu, for the last two months, this is what Aam Aadmi Party has but been doing every week. We announced our agenda for Delhi's education. We had agenda for Delhi's employment. We announced agenda for women's uh, security in Delhi, Sambit, I'm coming about to you in unauthorized half a colonies, about all these things. And what have we heard from the BJP? Today Vishnu, was the I day you expected the Prime Minister of the country 
to talk about okay. statehood in Delhi. This okay. is something BJP has been promising. He could have announced it. True, no true. Sambit Patra, we didn't hear, we didn't hear no of the issue of statehood. Why? And we heard, a, a, we heard what a lot of people would say, Sambit, was a rhetorical statement from the Prime Minister. We will rid Delhi of generators and ensure 24 elect, uh, hour electricity. Realistically, Sambit, it's almost impossible to achieve in the near future. Now let me tell you, Gujarat does not have invert, uh, inverters and does not need generators. So it is not that Delhi, which is the capital of the country, cannot be made as Gujarat. But anyhow, first I would like to answer to what Mr. Yogendra Yadavji was saying. He was saying that they had the blueprint, the layout and the agenda for everything. For education, uh, for women's safety, for schools, for colleges and umpteen number of things. What prevented you, Mr. Yogendra Yadav, if you had the layout for everything, what prevented you from delivering? Why did you run away with the layout to Varanasi? Why were you studying the Varanasi plans? Let me also remind you of the fact. Mr. What Kejriwal prevented us house. were your Mr. 32 MLAs with 8 MLAs from the Ganga Congress, Bank. which we hope and Mr. to get Kejriwal rid of this from time. the Ganga Banks promised that I will not leave Varanasi for all my life. I will stay in this rented house and I will serve the people of Varanasi. Now what happens to the people of Banaras? He should have stayed back there. Similarly, people of Delhi also have realized that... What are that we discussing today, Mr. Patra? Mr. Are, we discussing are we discussing Banaras? Are we discussing Delhi? Those are just like are the we discussing today's Banaras, rally? What are we discussing? Similarly, all your promises are going to vanish into thin air in Delhi. Lot of rhetorics by the Aam Aadmi Party is a classical example of guerrilla tactics of politics. What you are doing is a guerrilla tactics of politics. We are not going to buy it.